Okay, this video is going to walk you through how to find the vertex on a quadratic. And in this specific case, this model represents uh, profit. So before we get started, I want to make sure you have the same equation that I have. This is from the uh, top of the reflection paper. This is the equation that I'm working with. Yes, you need to enter the parentheses. If you need to enter that into your calculator, you can just pause the video. Go ahead and enter that. I want to make sure that we're operating from the same window. So here's the window that I'm going to be using. Again, if you need to pause the video so that you can type that into your own calculator, we do recommend that you do this along with us. As we enter the um, information to the calculator and we press different buttons, you should be practicing that on your own calculator. And then we can now look at the graph. So what I'm trying to find right now is this, right here, the maximum point of my quadratic, my vertex. And so in the profit problem, this represents um, how many items need to be sold. That's my X value. And then my Y value is the actual profit itself in dollars. So this is going to be the point where it maximizes the profit. That's the Y value what the actual maximum profit is. And then the X value tells you how many items you had to sell to get there. So we need to find what that is. So we're going to find the vertex. And these are the buttons we're going to use. All right, so the first thing I want to do is before we even press these buttons, I want to talk about left bound and right bound. Here is my recommendation. When you are doing a vertex, anytime you're doing vertex, with these problems, your highest point is always going to be this maximum right here. There's no other higher points. So in order to do left bound and right bound for this, it's perfectly fine to just use whatever you have for your X min and your X max right here. So negative 10 to 100, that happens to be the window I chose for my X values. The default is negative 10 to 10. So if you didn't change that, then you could use negative 10 to 10. I think that that's just a good basic uh, rule to use because that's going to be the only uh, only highest point. That's it. There's nothing else we could mistake it. Now, when we do the x-intercepts, it will be a little bit different. But when you're doing vertex, for your left bound and right bound, it's perfectly acceptable to just use whatever your x-min and your x-max are in your window. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go through here, second and trace. And again, we have this list of different things we can calculate. We're going to calculate maximum. So I'm going to go down to the four, or you can just press four. And here's my left bound. So as I said, I'm going to go to negative 10, and I'm just going to type in negative 10 and press enter, because I know my window goes all the way to negative 10. Now, I can't go past that. It will give me an error. Okay, and now for my right bound, as I mentioned, I'm going to use 100, because I know my screen goes all the way to 100. Now, I'm not recommending you use these numbers every time. I'm recommending that you look at your window to see what your X min and max are. And that could tell you your left and right bound. So I'm going to press enter. And now this is at the point where it's saying, okay, you want me to guess? Now you can't really see it, but there's these two little dots that um, usually look like bigger triangles. And that's kind of the boundaries it's looking between. So I need to confirm, yes, I want the calculator to guess. And here is my answer. So here is my maximum. So if I look at my x value, I have a 37.49999. So I'm rounding to the hundredths. So this 9 in the thousands place would tell me to round this one up, which automatically bumps this up to what looks like a 50. So my x value would be 37.5 or 0 0.50 if you prefer. You want to keep it consistent and put everything out to the hundredths. And then my Y value is already in the hundredths. So 342 and 25 cents, because that represents money. So this is the number of items that would need to be sold. And this is the maximum profit that I would um, receive if I sold that many items.